Hi, and welcome to your 15 minute prenatal balance flow. So this is a flow that is appropriate for all trimesters of pregnancy. Of course, if you're cleared by your doctor, you will avoid any twisting and other um, postures that are contraindicated for pregnancy. If you have some yoga blocks, grab that. If you have a strap, that would be very helpful. Let's get started. We'll start here, just on the mat, at the top of the mat, in a yogic squat position. So just rock the hips side to side. If I, um, any, any posture that I do, realize that you can modify um, the way that I'm doing it. So you don't have to follow me, especially during pregnancy. You want to listen to your body, anything that is painful, um, you want to act, uh, stop and modify or just stop altogether. So this is where blocks are helpful. And with this yoga squat, doing this almost every day, especially in the third trimester, is really going to help you out. So a lot of balanced postures um, in yoga are probably not appropriate during the second and third trimester, so we're going to avoid that. But there are a lot of postures that you can still do um, while pregnant. So from here, straighten the legs, breathe. Obviously, I am not pregnant, but I have had many pregnancies. And I am a mom of many. Drop down to your knees. So your yoga practice during pregnancy is a little bit slower. It's always mindful, but the, you know, whether you're pregnant or not, bend the elbows, arch the back, lift the tailbone, and then exhale, arch, arch the back. So go ahead and rock forward and back. But pregnancy is such a special, special time for you and your baby. It's a time of growth. So naturally your practice will change a bit. Go ahead and open up to the side. This is our first balance exercise. So see if you can lift that top leg. Balance here for a moment. Your center of gravity changes almost daily um, as you add, as the baby adds weight to your body, your center of gravity will change and that will change all sorts of things. So that's just something to keep in mind. And your side. Lift. This is a great exercise to do to work on abdominal strength, primarily your transverse abdominals, which is the oh, your side body muscles. Sorry, the obliques are your side body muscles. And then sit back, child's pose for a moment. High plank. We'll do a modified vinyasa here. So high plank to top of your mat. Deep bend in the knees, flat back. Inhale, round through the spine. Reach up overhead, exhale, mountain pose. So your base, your feet will be wider than hip width apart during pregnancy. Just to give you a little more balance and support, inhale and exhale. Flat back, round through the spine, and then lower down, all fours. We'll skip the cat or the cow cat move and go straight into high plank. Build a little heat here by coming forward and back. If this is too much, just hold plank on your knees and build heat that way. Otherwise, do two more here. Bring the left foot forward. High lunge. So our first balance move is just even being here in this um, lunge position. Just because your center of gravity is um, different during pregnancy, particularly in the third trimester where baby is 
growing every day, getting bigger and bigger. And so just even being right here, you've got to work on your balance. Um, under normal circumstances, when you're not pregnant, this isn't really a balance move, but during pregnancy it is. So we'll move into challenging, challenging, challenging ourselves even more by bringing the weight to the front leg and then seeing if you can lift off, lift that back leg off the ground. So you can tilt forward just a little bit. Now, if you were out of pregnancy and did not have the baby on your belly, I'd have you lean a little bit deeper and go a lot deeper into this. But for pregnancy, it's not a competition. We're not trying to push ourselves. We're just trying to take care of baby. And the way that we do that is taking care of our body. And this is a great way to just challenge yourself while still taking care of baby, taking care of your body, building the strength through the legs, and then slowly touch down for a moment. Get your bearings. See if you can lift that knee. Now, depending on how big your belly is, maybe this is how, how far you'll get your knee. If you're able to get it up a little bit higher, that's great. You can use your hand to support if you need. And we're just working on balance and strength here. This is a simple, exercise that you can do but you're definitely working Ooh. and you're working on those proprioceptive abilities or your ability to stay balanced ability to sense where you are in space and release down shake the leg inhale reach up overhead exhale flat back inhale round through the spine exhale Come down to all fours. High plank for a moment. Downward facing dog. And then come forward into a lunge position. Other leg. If you did the left leg last time, you'd be on your right. I'm on my right. And it's just that high lunge position. Again, it, it is a balanced posture when you have a baby strapped to your belly. Nice and snug and happy as you breathe. So you can give your baby a little hug here. Breathe deeply. If you want to challenge your balance a little bit more, you can add some arms up overhead. We're going to move into a little more advanced balance here by shifting the weight forward. Maybe you still keep the toe on the ground and just you're just hanging out here. Strong back, strong core, working on hugging the baby, breathing, or you can lift that leg a little. No need to go too high, avoid arching the back. You want to try to tuck the tailbone under just a little bit as you lift that back leg, maybe a foot off the ground. And if you're going to go any higher than that, then you need to lean forward. Keep the hands on the hips, or you can reach the hands back. One more breath here. Come up. through and it might be lower than where I am that's fine just challenging your balance here by standing on one foot is probably more than enough for you right now as a pregnant mama classic balance postures is tree posture so pick a side any side we'll do both sides I'm not going to stay here for too long so being pregnant 
you're going to change things up a little bit, right? If you've been doing yoga for a long time, maybe you're going to bring that foot a little bit higher, so just below the knee, or you can bring it all the way up to the inner thigh, but not on the knee joint itself. Open the chest, gazes forward, bring the hands together. If you can, or maybe just keep them on the hips. challenge reach up overhead you are doing so wonderful mama and then slowly come out of it slowly slowly that's part of the beauty of yoga is being intentional and we'll move to the other side same thing, other side. Use the hand to guide that leg, to guide the foot to where it needs to be. Now, if your knee is pointing straight ahead, it's just you're pretty tight through the hips, so no worries. You just stay down here. So. strong. Your baby is so happy right now because you are taking a moment to be very present and breathing deeply. Reach the arms up overhead if you like. And then release. So we will do one more balance posture. Um, the top of your mat, bring the feet out about shoulder width apart and sit back into chair. So chair is typically something that is, wouldn't be considered, I wouldn't consider a balanced posture, but I want you to think of what is happening right now in this posture. Your belly, because of the weight of baby, you want to lean forward. I want you to use the back strength to kind of tuck your tailbone under. And then we're going to add some balance work by just shifting the weight to your left leg, maybe still keeping the toe on the ground. This will build strength and endurance as well as kind of challenging your balance while still keeping it safe for, for pregnancy. So you can lift, see if you can lift the toe off the mat for an, off of an inch or two and hold for four breaths, four counts, two and one, sink down and then come up, we'll do the other side. So starting into that deep chair, chest is open. Pull the navel up and in, kind of tuck the tailbone, go a little bit deeper, extend the arms. Just notice what, what is happening. How can you connect with the body in, in a greater, in a more mindful way? And then move into just balancing on that other leg. Lift the heel, balance on the toes, or the toe, or maybe even lift off the ground an inch. No need to go super deep here. But you might notice that standing leg's getting a little shaky, a little, a little hot. That's fine, we're not gonna hold for too long. Go a little bit deeper. Come up. Shake the legs. You need to finish here. 
Um, we'll finish on our mat in a seated position. Forward fold, so bring the heels out to the edges of the mat. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, lean forward just a little bit. And then move into a full straddle. Inhale and exhale. Come up. So glad you were able to join me today, Mama. Um, please leave me a comment below to let me know what questions you have about prenatal yoga, fitness during pregnancy, whatever is on your mind, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.